Welcome back to my channel. So let's say you were given this kind of question. So that is if y is equal to cos s divided by s, then you ask to show that the second order derivative plus 2 divided by s divided by dx plus y is equal to 0. If you look at this question very well, it means you are expected to find the squared y dx squared dy dx. So you know your y, it is here. Then after that, if you sum it together, then you are going to have zero. Okay, let's get started. Recall that my y is equal to what? Cos x divided by x. If y is equal to cos x divided by x, you know the, you have this function in terms of fraction. Definitely you are going to use what? You are going to use quotient rule. You are going to use quotient rule. And don't forget by quotient rule, it means you are going to make your numerator to be u, your denominator to be v, and you are going to use this formula v du dx minus u dv dx divided by v squared. Uh -huh. So if that is cleared, then since my u is cos x here, then I confine my du dx, my du dx will be minus sine x. I hope that is cleared. Sorry, let me rewrite it here. Minus sine x. Then my v is x. So automatically your dv dx will be 1. So if you substitute into this formula, then your dy dx will be what? V, my v is x. Du dx, which is cos x, minus u, that's cos x. Dv dx, that is 1, divided by v squared. Your v squared will be x squared. Uh -huh. So then that gives s cos x. No, I think I've done something wrong. V, your v is s. Du dx will be minus sin x, not u. Sorry. So, so that's minus sin x. Let's take it again. U, uh, sorry, V, du dx, minus U, dv dx by V squared. Then, okay, let me rewrite this guy. Let me just erase it. Okay, then this will be what? Minus x and x minus cos x divided by x squared. Uh -huh. So if you understand this, then you notice my dy ds. To find the squared y ds squared, then it means you are going to differentiate this function. You understand now? And since you still have it in terms of fraction, then what are you going to do? So you are going to apply quotient rule again. Okay, now. So this is my what? So you have, so this, my u again is minus x sine x minus cos x. So which means that my du ds is, don't forget, you are going to differentiate this. You know this, is, you are going to apply product rule here because you know you have two functions here. So don't forget. Then you are going to have u, you know this is the formula for product through u dv ds plus v du ds. That is, you differentiate the function, the first function, you leave the second one as it is, plus differentiating the second, leaving the first as it is. So minus x, leave the first function, differentiate the second, that's cos x. Plus differentiate the second, that's cos x. Leave the first. Minus s u, dv dx, right? Then plus v, that's my uh, sine x. dv dx will be minus 1, right? Okay, now we are done with this. Then minus into, what is the derivative of cos x? Yeah, so that is sin, uh, minus sine x. Is that taken? So then let me rewrite it. This will be minus s cos x 
minus sign x plus sign s so it means this guy will cancel each other then you have minus s cos x left okay now if you understand that then your v will be x squared right simply your dv dx will be what 2x so if you also substitute into the formula which will give you your the v the squared y dx squared that is v du ds minus u dv ds divided by v squared okay let us substitute it so then i'm going to have what is my v s squared the u ds is what minus s cos x minus what is your u minus x and x minus cos x then what is my uh dv du dv du is what dv ds sorry dv ds is 2x then divide by v squared as s squared everything squared so that will give you s raised power 4 okay if we expand further that's minus s cube cos x you can bring this guy here that will be minus 2x so that will be plus 2s cube s raised uh, sign x minus times minus that's plus again plus 2s cos x divided by s raised power 4. Okay, now since you find your d square y ds square, then you can now substitute into this. You know, we were asked to show that d square y ds square plus 2 divided by s dy ds plus y is equal to 0. Am I correct? Let's check the question over again. Yeah, d square y ds squared. I'm correct plus 2 divided by s dy ds plus y is equal to 0. Okay, now, let us take it one by one. What is my d squared y ds squared? Remember, my d squared y ds squared, the function we've just differentiated there, that's minus s cube cos x to s squared sine s 2x cos x divided by s raised to power 4 plus 2 divided by x what is dy dx what, do we, what did we obtain here your dy dx is what my dy dx is minus s sin s minus cos x divided by s squared minus s sin x minus cos x divided by s squared minus s sin x minus cos x divided by s squared then plus y okay let's see if it's going to give us zero so if you don't want to stress yourself you know as is common in all of them then you can just take it out so this will give you minus x squared cos x plus 2s sin x plus 2 cos x right divided by s cube if i divide if i cancel x which is common to both numerator and denominator yeah so then this will be this will give me minus 2s sin x minus 2 cos x divided by s cube then don't forget your y is what cos x divided by x okay let's find my scm this will be s cube that's one if you divide then you have minus s squared cos x plus 2s sin x plus 2 cos x minus 2x sin x minus 2 cos x then plus s in s cube that's s squared that is x squared that's s squared cos x so okay now let's see you know this one cancel this right minus s square cos x plus minus s square cos x minus 2s sine s minus 2s sine x you know you have 
what we have zero divided by s cube. Zero divided by s cube will give you zero. And you now conclude by saying, therefore, d squared y dx squared plus 2 over s dy dx plus y is equal to 0. Very simple as that. If you benefit from this video, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share with your colleagues. Thank you.